As the sun dipped low over the coastal village, casting long shadows that danced across the cobblestone streets, the maritime festival was in full swing. Laughter and music mingled with the salty breeze, yet beneath the festive facade, a palpable tension hung in the air. Dr. Miranair stood at the edge of the crowd, her heart racing as she recalled the chilling discovery of the body just days prior. The village, usually vibrant and alive, now felt like a stage set for a sinister play. Myra's mind was a whirl of thoughts as she approached the lighthouse, its beam cutting through the twilight. Inspector Ravi Mehta had reluctantly agreed to let her assist in the investigation, but she sensed his skepticism. The air was thick with the scent of the sea, and the distant sound of waves crashing against the cliffs added to the ominous atmosphere. Mira knew that the festival's music and laughter were merely a veneer, hiding the darkness lurking beneath. The investigation was just beginning, and Mira was determined to uncover the truth, no matter the cost. They found Rajan D'Souza near the docks, his rugged figure silhouetted against the fading light. He was mending a fishing net, his hands deftly weaving the strands, a task that seemed second nature to him. Mira cleared her throat, the scent of brine filling her nostrils, as she prepared to question him. Rajan, we need your help. Another murder has occurred, she said, her voice steady despite the urgency in her chest. His eyes narrowed, revealing a flicker of concern. I told you everything I know, he replied, his voice gruff. Mira stepped closer, her gaze unwavering. Not everything, she pressed. You argued with the victim. What about the letters we found? They mentioned a treasure map. Rajan hesitated, the tension in his shoulders tightening. Those letters, they were about the shipwreck. Secrets best left buried, he admitted reluctantly. Myra's pulse quickened. The mention of a treasure map and shipwreck hinted at motives and secrets that could lead them to the murderer. The investigation was gaining momentum, and Mira felt a surge of determination to unravel the mystery. As the lighthouse beam swept over them, illuminating the darkening sky, Mira felt a surge of determination. The festival's music faded into the background, replaced by the sound of waves crashing against the cliffs, a reminder of the darkness lurking just beneath the surface. The investigation was fraught with challenges, but Mira was resolute. She knew that the truth was buried somewhere within the village's secrets, and she was determined to uncover it, no matter the cost. The professional dynamics between her and Inspector Mehta were tense, yet she was undeterred. The clues were beginning to form a picture, albeit a fragmented one, and Mira was ready to piece it together. The stakes were high, and the cost of failure was too great to contemplate. As the night deepened, Mira steeled herself for the path ahead, knowing that the answers lay within reach if only she could grasp them. The Storyteller Channel would continue to follow this gripping case, unraveling the mystery one clue at a time.